Hi everyone, so this is the first video I've posted on YouTube in a few years. Uh, I'm not really into shooting my own stuff, but it looks like I got a few thousand hits on my previous reviews, which were uh, the Hot Wheels kit from Knight Rider and also the Mini Mates car, also from Knight Rider with a little Garth figure. Uh, Mini Mates are basically little two inch figures uh, that were originally released by Art Asylum and they continue to be released uh, now that Art Asylum has been bought out by, or it's a division of uh, Diamond Select Toys. Um, they've been doing Star Trek Mini Mates for a long time, uh, I guess since the beginning, uh, but the original ones kind of looked really kind of basic and crude. Uh, these newer ones, which were, I got all these in 2013, uh, are a lot more detailed and they come with nice accessories and things. Um, I got all the most of these at Toys R Us. I think one or two of the extra sets I bought off Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if they were all Toys R Us exclusives, but at least the Janeway and Seven Divine figure there. You can see it has a sticker that says Toys R Us exclusive on it. And I'm pretty sure these are all the at least the out of these newer sets, the newer design packaging and everything. These are the uh, only ones out there. These seven. There was also another one with. An alternate Captain Sisko, who instead of coming with uh, Gold Ducat as a second figure, he came with a Gem Hadar. But I'll go over why I decided to pass on that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I mean, the if you had a chance to buy these, or even if you have a chance to buy them now, I would say go for it because they're kind of cool little figures. They have decent articulation, and um, they're just nice to have in your collection. Uh, you, especially if you don't have a lot of display space, you can just have them kind of sitting around your TV or whatever. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take them out of the packaging in a minute, but I'll just show like a quick overview of what's there first. The first set is uh, Captain Kirk with Khan. Kirk comes with his phaser, uh, hand phaser communicator and uh, phaser rifle. Um, if you notice, he's wearing a sash and it has a peg on the side. All the Starfleet figures have uh, little pegs on the side so you can plug their phasers uh, into there like they're they're in the holster or, or in Kirk's case, like they're on the sash, which is pretty cool. Uh, even Captain Archer has that from Enterprise, so uh, that's nice. Um, Khan is just wearing his gold jacket from, and he has his look from uh, the original episode Space Seed. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can take his jacket off. He probably just has like a bare chest under it, precursor to Wrath of Khan or something, you know. <laughs> um, so that's that one. The second one is Captain Picard with Hugh the Borg. As you can see, Picard comes in his season five getup. Uh, I'm pretty sure he started wearing that uniform in season five where he has the red jacket over his gray undershirt. Uh, he's probably my favorite mini mate out of all of them because he comes with three different looks he comes with that look and if you use these alternate arms here and take his jacket top off he'll, he'll just have the gray uniform underneath um so that's his second look and then he also in the package he has a red uniform a standard uniform uh in the packaging so you can put have him in just his regular starfleet uniform uh so there's three different looks which is pretty cool he comes with a phaser tricorder and phaser rifle I think and he also has a little knife uh, which I think is from the Darmok episode the end of the Darmok episode because I don't remember him using a knife um, in any any other episodes but uh, you know my memory might not be that good and he comes with Hugh the Borg uh, the second figure um, he has like his Borg armor over his uh, chest. I'm not sure if the one on his head is removable. I, I doubt it. Um, but he has like the Borg thing on his hand. Um, and yeah, he's he's pretty interesting. They could have had uh, another character, maybe like a Romulan, like Tomalak, or uh, maybe even Darmok from that episode. Um, oh man, I, for I forgot. The oh. Uh, forgot the name of it but anyway Darmok from that episode. oh yeah Darmok that's the name of the episode what am I thinking um but he wasn't bad it's just a little strange because they released another Borg 
and another set which I'll show in a minute. The third set is uh, Captain Sisko in his Starfleet vest with Do Gold Ducat. <clears throat> Sisko I think comes with kind of similar accessories, phaser, phaser rifle, tricorder. Um, and he's in his Starfleet vest which is in the next generation movie style starting with First Contact. Uh, I, I do remember him wearing the vest in the episode Rapture, the one where he was getting all those visions from the prophets or whatever because of that energy surge or something. Um, but, you know, it's kind of weird they didn't put him in a standard uniform. Um, and then you have Gold Ducat here with, uh, as the second figure, he has his, uh, Cardassian, he has his, uh, Cardassian armor. He also has a Cardassian pistol and a Cardassian rifle. I think, yeah, it looks like he's the only one who actually comes with his own, uh, accessories which is cool and he has his little you can barely see it but he comes with a holster here so you can put his phaser in there which is cool uh, now about Cisco you if you wanted to um, well first Cisco also came in another set with a Jem Hadar uh, where he's wearing his sort of standard Deep Space Nine uniform from the early seasons which Janeway is in um, if you wanted to you could probably swap out his head and hands with hers and give him the standard uniform or you could uh, swap it out with the movie Picard uh, figure and I'll, I'll show that in a minute um, to give him the standard uniform if you don't want him in the vest um, so this one is the the fourth set uh, I'll go a little quicker it's Janeway with seven of nine uh, Janeway has her I mean, she has a, well, she has her tricorder, phaser, you know, f like I guess a different phaser rifle. Uh, she has her bun hairstyle from the earlier seasons, which I don't, I'm not sure if she had it in the later seasons, but um, it's there, it looks nice. And Seven of Nine, she doesn't come with any accessories, but you can see her, uh, ch her chest area is painted, you know, with her... <laughs> Uh, her outline it's kind of funny because she's the Janeway doesn't have any like female outlines to her but 709 has those big breasts and everything uh, printed on there but she's in a nice metallic kind of silver paint and she has uh, like her Borg um, things on her hand and her, her like implant on her eye which are pretty nice uh, the fifth set is Captain Archer and Dolim uh, from Enterprise Archer looks really nice. His uniform has like printed on like zippers and uh, like piping and all kinds of things. He has his uh, Enterprise pistol, face pistol, and uh, scanner and communicator. Uh, and he he's actually a pretty nice figure. But I, I really don't like the fact that they packed Dolan with him. I mean, I wasn't. <laughs> I did, I watched parts of season three of Enterprise, but I wasn't really that much into it. And the fig, this figure, it's kind of, it just looks too generic. He just has like a big robe on. I'm not sure what's underneath. And maybe I'll show that when I unbox them. But, um, you know, he just looks too static and basic. I kind of wish they had put uh, Silic the Sulaban or maybe even... Comm uh, sub commander to Paul or um, actually Shran the Andorian would have been a much better pick if you ask me sh having Shran even without any weapons or anything or maybe with like a removable antenna since he got it cut off in one episode by Archer um, the f last two sets are based on the movies uh, this one is Captain Kirk or Admiral Kirk from Star Trek 2 Wrath of Khan and then Khan in his look you can remove his chest thing his uh, chest, uh, you know, uniform, and I think he has the strong muscles underneath. Uh, Admiral Kirk has his field jacket, his Star Trek II communicator, and uh, phaser. He also has um, wh uh, white arms in case you want him just in his vest underneath, and I think he has a standard uniform as well, so uh, he has multiple looks as well, kind of like the Picard figure. Uh, which is cool. He also has his wrist communicator there and he comes with an alternate head which 
I'll show in a minute, which is pretty funny. Uh, I think it's a really good idea. Uh, I mean, a really good touch that they added uh, into the set. And then finally, you have Captain Picard from First Contact. He's in his standard uniform, like I mentioned before. Uh, he has his phaser rifle from the movie, which is restyled. Uh, communicator, I think he comes with a hand phaser too. Um, and then you have the Borg Queen, who has really nice printed on details. She has like the, the tendrils on her neck and everything. I mean, on the back of her head and everything. And you can actually remove her headpiece to show something underneath, which I thought was really nice. But it's really nicely detailed anyway. So I'll take these out of the package and just show you what they look like and also go over the uh, ship that I got, uh, which is the only ship they've released. It's a variant, but it's it's basically the only ship that they released so far, and hopefully they'll release more. Uh, so I'll just pause this and come back.